Luxo will be massive. What's going on guys, Randy here with another crypto video. I bring crypto videos two times per day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Be sure to smash the like buttons, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Before I get into the content about Luxo, I wanted to tell you about BlockFi. Get up to $250 of free Bitcoin when you fund your BlockFi account. There are no lockup periods, so you can release funds at any time. Earn up to 8.6 APY on USDC, VTC, ETH, LINK, and Litecoin. At the peak of the bull run, I'll be cashing out into USD at 8.6%, living off the interest, and buying back in during the bear market. If you want to try out BlockFi, there's a link down in the description as well as the comment section. All right, so let's get into Luxo. We'll start by looking at their website, which is a pretty slick, pretty slick website here. Multiverse, the beginning of a new digital economy. Luxo is a blockchain infrastructure providing a series of standards and solutions for physical and digital consumer goods in order to foster transparency circularity and new forms of responsible production and consumption. Luxo is the new Luxo is the next project by the creator of ERC20, ERC725, a network dedicated to moving blockchain beyond DeFi. Luxo is in the NFT market as well as the physical goods market. Let's take a look at the founders. Luxo is a blockchain for new digital lifestyle and is created by former Ethereum developer Fabian Vogelsteller, author of ERC20 and Web3 JS, both of which are the foundation for today's DeFi protocols. Together with brand architect Marjorie Hernandez, he's building the platform for the next wave of mainstream blockchain applications. So let's get into Fabian Vogel Stella real quick. He is a blockchain veteran who was part of the Ethereum Foundation in its early days. From 2015 to 2018, he helped shape the Ethereum space, building the official Ethereum wallet, the first decentralized Web3 browser, in tools like Web3.js, the blockchain space's most used JavaScript library. In November 2015, he proposed ERC20, the token standard that initiated the ICO wave and the DeFi movement. And then co-founder Marjorie Hernandez, she's a multifaceted innovation and product expert, equal parts entrepreneur and designer, the Caracas-born trained architect, strategist, and innovation consultant, built and led EY's Innovation Lab in Berlin before fo founding Luxo. Now, CEO Marjorie Hern Hernandez explains that Luxo isn't an app with a token, but rather a foundation layer based on the Ethereum virtual machine. On top of this foundation, many use cases can be deployed. Currently, the project focuses on the following items, customization, authenticity verification, and items tokenization. Practically, it works this way. After the goods are manufactured, brands register items on the Luxo blockchain and create their digital twins, being equipped with chips. All participants can track the blockchain items to check their authenticity, origin materials, and more. What's unique about Luxo is that items can be traded within the ecosystem. Designers can now provide incentives. Now you might be thinking this sounds a little bit like VeChain, where they tr where VeChain tracks the auth authenticity of items as well, but Luxo Luxo is more focused on NFTs the, in the fashion industry, which is a five hundred billion dollar market. So I want to take a look at the company that Fabian Vogelseller is in right now. Vitalik Buterin, founder of Ethereum. We already know how popular Ethereum is, the number two cryptocurrency in the world. Doesn't need any introductions. Charles Hoskinson, co-founder of Ethereum and now founder of Cardano one of the top cryptocurrencies in the space. Gavin Wood, co-founder of Ethereum and founder of Polkadot. Are you seeing a pattern here? Fabian Vogelsteller, integral part of Ethereum, founder of Luxo. What do they all have in common? Obviously Ethereum. And what's the next thing that we'll probably all have in common? They're all probably gonna be a top 10 blockchain. Luxo has quite the ways to go. They're a top 200 coin right now, but their mainnet hasn't been released yet. What's pretty awesome about Luxo is the innovation. What's so special about Luxo? Let's let's take a look. One is the reversed ICO. So the R ICO is something that Luxo used for for their ICO. 
and it allows investors to act in real time and withdraw their funds in the project stops. It allows investors to act in real time and withdraw their funds if the project stops meeting their expectations. Being a creator of this idea, Fabian Vogelsteller advocates all crypto startups to have this ICO type. This way, the projects will clear up the industry from scams and protect investors' funds. Okay, very innovative. Fabian Vogelsteller is kind of, uh, he's leading the way in something pretty special here. He, he did it, he had a successful R ICO for Luxo, and he's pushing to have it done by uh, by all ICOs, and it seems like it's something that should be adopted to avoid these scams and frauds. Luxo will likely be the first Casper beacon chain with smart contracts. Now, listen up, this is pretty important stuff here. So Fabian Vogelsteller writes, on Reddit, he says, I am happy to announce that we published the final architecture for the Luxo mainnet, and it's already running in an early test version. The architecture combines a Casper beacon chain, ETH 2.0 consensus, consensus, with ETH 1 execution engine catalyst. We have run some initial tests and got up to 450 transactions per second on a single shard, and this on small machines without optimizing anything. This architecture allows Luxo to stay compatible to the development of around ETH 2.0 and sharding while already being able to run a full EVM chain on top of Casper long before Ethereum itself. Pretty innovative stuff here coming out of Luxo. And then the third piece of innovation here is the ERC 725. So as mentioned earlier, Fabian was found you know, creator of the ERC-20, and now he, he now he developed ERC-725. ERC-725 is a proposed standard for blockchain-based identity authored by Fabian Vogelsteller, creator of ERC-20 and Web3.js. ERC-725 describes proxy smart contracts that can be controlled by multiple keys and other smart contracts. ERC-735 is an associated standard to add and remove claims to an ERC-725 identity smart contract. These identity smart contracts can describe humans, groups, objects, and machines. ERC-725 lives on the Ethereum blockchain. And why ERC-725? So ERC-725 allows the self-sovereign identity. Users should be able to own and manage their identity instead of ceding ownership of identity to centralized organizations. We have seen the negative effects of having centralized identity with damaging leaks and unfair selling of user data and identity. An open portable standard for identities will enable decentralized reputation, governance, and more. Users will be able to take their identity across different dApps and platforms that support this standard. Now let's take a look at some, now take a look at this list of advisors. All members of the advisory board are acting on their own behalf and not in the name of their companies. Look at the, look at the companies and, and the people that are advisors for this for, for this project so we have uh, nike chanel burberry deutsche bank instagram these are some energy web foundation we hit we have this big list of advisors here that you can't ignore okay uh, and if and if only a couple of these become actual partners in this project it's going to be be massive i think i think without it it's going to be massive but just to have these advisors on your board is is huge and then the fact that these people would attach their name to something especially when they're working for these huge corporate brands uh, says a lot about marjorie fabian and what luxo has going on and let's take a look at a few of the partners that Lux already has. Created in collaboration with our partners, early adopters and co-creators defines a new digital ecosystem where the world of fashion, gaming, design, and social media intersect. Announced partners, Fabricant, WAM, Ariani, Reflant, Authentic, State Capital, and also some more associations here. Some real nice stuff here from Luxo. Let's take a look at the price here. So Luxo tokens at about $17 hit an all-time high just recently on March 12th for of $27.08. And it has had a little pullback here. The past 30 days, a 230% run-up. Now with the mainnet launch coming up here in quarter one, of 2021 i'm sure this price is going to go on a surge is going to go on a nice little tear again there's only just under 15 million circulating supply but that's going to change with the mainnet launch right now luxo's tokens are called lyxe the e for ethereum because it's on the ethereum blockchain when the mainnet is launched it's going to be the lyx token on its own mainnet of course when it goes to its own mainnet it's also going to have more circulating supply. 
which is going to make it a little tougher for our price prediction because right now, like I said, we're going from 15 million circulating supply up to 48 million circulating supply after the main net. So what I'm thinking is you're going to have price run up leading to the main net. And then when the circulating supply goes up, I think it's going to probably break about even. You're probably going to see it come back down to about, you know, $20, $25 right now. I think also with another exchange listing, you're going to see the Luxus price surge. Right now, they're only listed on Uniswap, KuCoin, Who.com, Biloxi. When there's a Binance listing, when there's other exchanges list this coin, it's also going to help the price out. Any kind of big exchange listing will definitely help Luxo, the main net, a lot of things coming up. Let's take a look at the long-term price. I'll go over to coin market cap, and I like to look at circulating supply. Let's look at the circulating supply at, let's take a look at the circulating supply at 15 million. Where would it be if it was a top 100 crypto cryptocurrency? Right now, if Luxo was a top 21 cryptocurrency with about a 15 million circulating supply. It would be over a $300 coin, probably close to $400 coin. If it was at number 20 right now, I believe it has a possibility to get there someday. I see it as definitely a top 100 cryptocurrency. If it was a top 40, let's say if it was at 42 ranking, you're talking about a $140 coin. But with the main net launch coming out and circulating supply going up to 48 million where would it be so we're just guesstimating here this is pretty similar you're talking it's probably going to be if it was at 63 a 25 dollar coin but where do i think it's going to be long term at the top of this bull run even with a 48 million circulating supply i think a three digit coin is inevitable 100 dollars is somewhere i could see it going even with 48 million circulating supply top 100 coin about 100 dollars per coin so if you get in right now at $17, you're looking at a pretty nice return. And of course, if the NFT market stays hyped up the way it is, it's also going to fuel this coin up to top 100 project. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know down in the comments. How far do you think Luxo will go? Do you think it'll be a top 100 project? Do you think it will hit three digits, $100 or more? What are your predictions? Let me know down below. If you guys like daily crypto content twice a day, morning crypto news, evening altcoin review smash the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the morning